You have a kid, don't you? Well, you do. I know you do. Do you know how I know this? It's because once, when we left work, I was walking behind you and I could see you in front of me and I watched you meet this woman in a coffee shop. It wasn't an, a nice coffee shop. I was surprised you went in, actually. It was a, a Costa or something. Not even a good one, a shit Costa. Anyway, I watched you meet this woman and I waited. I watched you go to the loo. So I ran in and I said, oh, I was hoping to catch you. And I had a nice little chat with Marion. Is that her name? Your ex? She told me about Harry and I said I was a colleague. You were taking ages in the toilet, actually. We, we talked about it. Didn't know what you were up to in there, but it meant we had a good talk about you. And when you still hadn't come out, I, I said I needed to dash and I'd catch you tomorrow instead. But that conversation with Marion gave me quite a lot of crucial information, which I've always known. When you've tried to hide things or, or lie or whatever, I've always known things about your life that you don't know I know. I know that you have to pay Marion that certain amount every month. And when she hears that you're out of work, her low estimation of you will drop even further. Oh, it will, I promise. And you know what the really tragic thing is? Is that she won't be like, oh my God, you lost your job. Oh my God. She'll be like, of course he lost his job, fucking retard. Good thing I got out whilst I could. Better not let him see Harry too much. Don't want Harry growing up in this distorted, disabled image of his fucking drip, drip of a father. I expect that's what she'll think. It's tough, isn't it? Life. It's a lot more difficult than you'd imagined it would be. I mean, I'm sure you thought it was going to be difficult, but that's through sheer hard work and practice and training and long hours and inspiration, and in your case, perspiration, that in the end, you would pull through and succeed. That's what you thought, isn't it? Oops. I was in the park all last night. There was a group, a whole group of us, I think. Well, the others, uh, I don't know what they did, but I drank wine until the early morning and then I crawled under a tree and fell asleep. I slept until 10 o'clock this morning. I was found by a policeman, by a little piggy. And he said, oh, it's very dangerous out here, darling. You could have been raped all by yourself in the park. And I said, well, the thing is, constable, I said, the thing is, you early morning, irritating cunt, constable, is that I'm a woman. We could always get raped at any moment. Any minute of the day or night. Oh, if we lived our lives like that, trying to avoid it all the time, well, we wouldn't do anything. Then I looked at him, right in the face. I think he liked me. And I said, it's all about risk. 